After verifying the patient's identity using at least two identifiers, such as first name and last name and date of birth, place your patient in a supine position with their head settled in the head holder and their arms resting along their body. Center the internal axial plane laser light on the appropriate landmark. Here we use the external auditory meatus or EAM. Make sure that the lateral laser alignment light is at the mid thickness of the skull and that the longitudinal laser alignment light is placed on the median sagittal plane. To help your patient maintain the position, you can place a restraint strap on the chin or forehead. Remember to close the doors of the examination room and perform proper hand hygiene, such as the use of a rub with alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Select your patient from the work list, then click on Patient Selection. Verify the pre-filled information and fill in the patient's weight and height. Finally, choose the appropriate protocol. Check that the patient's position on the table matches the one indicated. Note that the patient's orientation is head first. After checking the scan parameters, click on Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and launch the acquisition when the buttons flash. Click on Next Series. Place the slices box on the frontal or AP localizer in such a way as to cover from the frontal sinus superiorly to the dental roots of the maxilla inferiorly. Then check the lateral localizer to make sure you cover the sphenoid sinus posteriorly and the tip of the nose anteriorly. Check the consistency of the acquisition parameters that are often pre-configured. Check the reconstruction boxes. For the acquisition of a sinus scan, you will need at least a smooth reconstruction filter for soft tissue and fluid evaluation, and a sharper or edge enhancement reconstruction filter for bone study. Before continuing, check that the predicted dose is consistent with the diagnostic guideline values. Press on Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and proceed with the acquisition when the buttons are flashing. Verify the absence of patient motion on the acquisition. Click on End Exam. Provide the patient with any post-examination instructions as indicated at your facility. At the end of the examination, accompany the patient back to the changing room and tell them they can get dressed. Thanks for watching. For more great clinical content and special offers on CE credits, follow us on socials.